Sorry I woke you up. You woke me up? I'll, I'll call you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, Mike. Well, look who's here. You just couldn't stay away, could you? Like they say, it gets in the blood. Sure it does, just like the virus. Are you hurt, buddy boy? I don't know what happened. You're okay? I walked right into it. No, that's all right. He had 12 years to rig it, you had two seconds to react. Look at me, you okay now? Yeah, yeah. Is he all right, Doc? Yeah, a few cuts and a bruised ego. If I were you, I'd take it easy for a day or so. Well, I think you should tell that to the lieutenant. No, he's right. You don't look too good. Come on, I'll drive you home. Give me that. Thank you. Oh, man. You're okay, huh? Yeah, I'm fine. You're sure? I'm sure. Okay, easy, easy. Uh, nothing bothers you? No, nothing. Okay, now tell me what happened. <laughs> You almost bought it because I couldn't tell where he was. I couldn't tell where the sounds were coming from. It's okay, Mike. It's no, it's not okay. They came back here. Steve. 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 accommodation for a scratch like that. You planned this whole thing, didn't you? <laughs> I knew you wanted to be on the collar for personal reasons. Why does the department even pay you? He does all the head work. What other one? Dan. You want to run a ballistics check on this? How long did you know? Since you put that other team on the Waldron case. Then why all the accusations? I want to give Dan a chance. I want to blow his cover. He, you know, I could be a good actor when I want to, too, you know. Oh, you think so, huh? Fooled you, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> You know, this is your town, Mike. You don't have to take this, remember? Look, put on an APB on Bert D'Angelo. I did that already. Well, if you already did everything, what'd you come to me for? For you to tell me what a good job I'm doing. What? That should have been the tip-off. Salami. Turn right here, will you? Up on the corner. Best salami in town, right down that block. And you can pick out the kind you like. Why should I buy your salami? Because you're going to eat it. Tonight, at my birthday party. Oh, man, it's supposed to be a surprise. <laughs> you know, I might even drive up to the mountains, do a little fishing. Yeah, you take it easy. I'll take care of all of it here. Not all of it. Just your share for a change. Tanner's going to be working with you till I get back. Not me, kill the I owner. I saw of the report, store. Mike, I know. i tell you what I no, want No, I'll to tell do. you. I'm going to put a 24-hour guard on you. A what? That's right, a 24-hour guard, and Drake here's going to run the first shift. I don't need a guard. Drake, he's your responsibility. You're going to have to see that he gets home, and you're going to have to keep an eye on him. Okay, Lieutenant. Drake, I said it's okay. It's okay. When you take over, you really take over, don't you? Drake, get him out of here, will you? All smiles, huh? Okay, Smiley. When are you going to put your name on my door? The yeah, homicide inspector Keller. What are you doing in my office? Taking over? Always trying, Mike. Always trying. Well, that's why I'm sending you, Prince Charming. I want you to give him that nice, big, beautiful smile of yours. You sure go a long way to prove a point. 
What do you mean? You know what I mean. Letting me handle the situation. Oh, come on. I knew you were there all the time. What did I have to worry about? Decision for yourself. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you put me in charge. Oh, yeah. Listen, I've been thinking, since we know the floor plan here so well, it wouldn't be a bad idea if maybe the policeman's convention were held here next year. What do you think? You don't like the idea? No, no, I, I think it's a good idea. Matter of fact, I'll put in a request to headquarters for you. You will? Yes, sir, then I'll take a vacation that week. Thank you. Oh, yes, sir, he says, huh? Yes, sir. I better learn to duck every time I hear that yes, sir. Chicago, by now. Or he could be in that free clinic that you're going to go past. You mean this one here? Yeah, this one. Well, since we're here, why don't we uh, go in and take a look and see what's going on? Well, we're starting a little early this morning, huh? What's the rush? Just wanted to get you off on the right foot with the new captain. Yeah, that's what I like about you, Mike. You're always sick of your troops. <laughs> Just those that need it. Oh, come on. Now, you know me. I'm not big on coincidences. Coincidences, I know. Yeah. The lady says that she'll talk to you and you alone. Uh-huh. How come I don't get calls like that? I tell you, you gotta get a new tailor. About 15 minutes. Right. Bye bye. 15 minutes? Lady in distress, I'll see you in about an hour. Okay. Say, uh, what's your tailor's name anyway? Oh, say, this is good looking beef. You say so. What's the matter? No more mustard? Well, if it's so good, we need mustard for. I said it was good looking, I didn't say how good tasting. Here's downstairs, you want one? Uh, no thanks. I know you like chocolate, I bought two chocolates. Maybe later. He just can't help himself, no, can no, he? No, no, he's pathological, he's trying to Strong compensate. Strong feelings of inferiority, I know. I know all about that. I drive with one every day. Now wait a minute, you what? But well, she didn't believe you either, did she? What? She caught on to you right oh, away. Oh, come on. Will you? <laughs> to see your body for duty. Hey, huh? wait a minute. Hey, fellas. How does he look, huh? Looks great. Pretty yeah. good. Here, sit down. Come on. Thank you. Oh, man. Well, how's your side? Well, it still itches a bit. Well, scratch it. It's a little deeper than that. Oh, it means it's healing. Yeah? Yeah. Here it is. Smell good. Mmm, still smells good. Business? No. Oh, man, yeah, that still hurts. Say, why don't you take a few days sick? Yeah. Yeah, maybe that'd be good, you know go up north, do some fishing. Great idea. I understand they've got some nice streams along Oak Grove, California. Really? Uh-huh. Yeah, maybe I'll go up there and see what I can catch. Great idea. And then come back ready for work Monday morning. Oh, Mike, come on. Monday morning, Inspector. Yes, sir. Give my regards to Nancy. Who's Nancy? Nancy who? Who's Nancy? Nancy who? Uh, you know who Nancy is. Won't be bad for a weekend. Yeah, with somebody about 50 pounds lighter than you, soft skin and wavy Wait hair. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, that was me 20 years ago. Soft skin? Ha! <laughs> Forget it. You can tour the wine country on your own time and your own expenses. Yes, sir. I'm going to see you have a cup of coffee in the morning. I always have a cup of coffee first thing in the morning. I just don't have it in the office the first thing in the morning. Oh, you overslept, huh? Missed the first cup of coffee at home. Never mind all that. 